head to the mission following a call for help from the Haitian government. Now, in other news, the cabinet has approved the writing off of 117 billion shillings in debt uh, owed by pub uh, public sugar mills to the government, a move that now breathes a sigh of relief, uh, in, or rather breathes new life into the ailing sugar industry in the Nyanza region. Now, the good news for sugarcane farmers, which came on the last day of President William Ruto's working tour of the region, also saw the cabinet, which convened at the Kisumu State Law, ratify the privatization bill 2023 which was assented into law by the head of state however the cabinet meeting which is one of the many he has held in recent past in his regional tours may point to a new strategy by president william ruto who has cut an image of a shrewd hands-on president ktn's political affairs reporter emmanuel tom interrogates pay for the entire public service his four-day official working tour of the Nyanza region culminated with President William Ruto unveiling the goodies he had in stock for the people of Nyanza as the historic cabinet meeting held at Kisumu State Lodge approved the writing off of debts owed by public sugar mills. The news, which is a sigh of relief to farmers in the Sugar Belt region, had accumulated to a whopping 117 billion shillings in bank loans, including 65 billion owed to banks, 50 billion shillings in taxes and nearly 2 billion shillings in farmers' dues. President William Ruto acknowledged Parliament's resolutions on the reforms sanctioned by the Cabinet for the turnaround of the sugar sector that has been on the sick bed. Requests for proposals for the leasing of the five state owned sugar mills will be published in a fortnight. <laughs> Na nitalipa kabla ya December, munipatie mwezi moja na nusu mwezi mbili. The head of state also approved and assented the privatization bill 2023 into law, which now repeals the Privatization Act of 2005, which was enacted before the current constitution and plans to remove the bureaucracy in the privatization of non-strategic or loss-making government entities. The bill will be particularly beneficial to struggling sugar companies in the region, such as Chemelil Sugar Factory, South Nyanza Sugar, Nzoya Sugar, Agrochemical and Food Company, and some public universities. The people who have taken the sugar sector hostage, and we know them, the people who normally go to court to block any meaningful transformation of our sugar cane sector, we want to give them a warning from Migori, that this time round tutaonana na nyinyi macho kwa macho asante sana kwa kutukaribisha hapa nyumbani hapa kisumu dala however the nyanza trip is just a piece of a puzzle of the president's recent tours of duty that have seen him devolve cabinet meetings countrywide after his five days stay in the coastal region ruto held a cabinet meeting at the state house mombasa in late july <laughs> and will go ahead to convene another one at the Sagana State Lodge in Nyeri County at the peak of his Mount Kenya tour. The Western Kenya region also had its share of the tours and the State Lodge meetings that passed crucial pieces of legislation. Although the head of state has defended his trips as avenues to interact with the people and launch development projects, pandits argue the president is also in an active campaign mode where he is bypassing and sidestepping regional kingpins to reach the people directly, as did retired president the late Daniel Moy, who is touted as the most hands-on president who had serious grassroots engagement. Out of the regions already visited, President Ruto is yet to make a tour of the Ukambani region, which brings together Machakos, Makueni and Kitui counties, as well as the northeastern region of the country, and Samburu and Laikipia counties. Emmanuel To, KT News, Nairobi. In similar news, President